In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good people, we pick up from where we left yesterday, and uh, remember, we talked about the effectiveness of our prayer life, and that which makes us sometimes get stuck in our prayer life. And we did say that today, we'll be able to look at that, and then we ask why and where do we get ourselves stuck? The first one is uh, when we are convinced that uh, nothing good can come out of our way. Uh, it's a conviction, very sad, when we believe that uh, we, are, we were never meant for anything good. We are convinced that we were never meant for anything good. That makes us get stuck, good people. We get stuck. Because we feel as though we are condemned to nothingness and to hopelessness. The other one is when we judge ourselves, passing judgment, with that judgmental attitude, believing again that we believe to a certain class or a certain category that is not worth of God's visitation. Now that is tragic. Number three, self-condemnation. Self-condemnation. For whatever reason, it may be for what we have passed through in the past years. It may be through our socialization it may be because of our current situation. That may be the reason why. But there comes a time. Remember, condemnation means that we have re removed ourselves from the normal and the ordinary. If you go to main prisons, every main prison has a section that is called for the, the section for the condemned. You know who are they? The condemned are those men and women who are incarcerated for life. Now, those are the men and women who will never see the door of the prison. They will die there and probably be buried there. They are the condemned. Now you understand. There are the others who would be roaming free um, with a norm that maybe one day, it doesn't matter how long, they will set their feet out of the prison. But they're condemned. Their fate is sealed, closed. Sometimes we are like that. When you condemn yourself, you have removed yourself, as it were, from the least of them that God would want to bless and to visit. Number four, ina loathing, self in a loathing. To loathe is to hate, to hate with passion. It may be as a result of our physicality. It may be as a result of many things. But whatever the case, we hate ourselves. Maybe because I was never brought up very well, and therefore, I feel as though I am a cosmic mistake. Sometimes I think I am the only person who has never gotten it right. Sometimes I think I'm the only one person uh, whose lines never meet. I am the only one person whose problems keep on mutating. That there is no one time that I'm not swimming in, one, uh, swimming in any of the troubles from one disaster to the other till I feel that I could be an accidental child. You are not. But the moment you start inner self-loathing, even your prayer life becomes like difficult. The inner humiliation now, this is as a result, 
directory of uh, what happened in our, in our inner law thing. When we did the inner law thing, something happened. Remember, we did, not, um, we did not consider ourselves as persons who are meant for anything. And because I hate myself right from the inside, uh, I am not one of those people who should be celebrated at any one point. Inner humiliation. And finally, inner trashing. What is trash? Trash is that, that filth that is meant for decomposition, that is meant for, for waste. It's a waste. Can you imagine taking yourself as that waste? You are not waste. My dear friend, you are not an accident. You are the best that God created. The best. You are the best that God created. Let no one convince you otherwise. Even your problems should never convince you that you are meant for nothing. You are not. You are a beloved child of God. Thank you, my dear friend. Finally now, our class eight are at home. <clears throat> Yesterday, uh, the boarders went home. Now we are happy that they are finally home. We pray for their protection as we continue waiting for the results and of course placement in various high schools when they go to start the, the, the journey of high school life. Dear sons and daughters, graduates of class eight, we love you. Please take good care of yourselves at home. Behave well. Be good girls. Be good boys. But don't just be good girls, do good. Don't just be good boys, but do good. Being good is not enough. It is always important to be good and to do good. Thank you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.